So why do we use money? We use money because it makes it easy to trade. That's why we use money, right? It's hard to trade a cow for eggs, hard to trade a cow for a house, hard to trade a house for eggs. So we use money, right? We use money. We work for money, we get the money, then we use the money to buy stuff. So all modern economies use money, not barter. Money is also a system. It's not just the physical things we touch, it's also a system. So for example, the US dollar is a system that includes banks, it includes a central bank, it includes the government, and of course taxes, that's part of the US dollar money system. A money system has a bunch of purposes, but the two most important ones are who owns what money and the total amount of money that is in the system. Those are probably the two most important things that a money system or a monetary system controls. So how does the monetary system work and how does it matter to your money? Well, since this is rotary and the sort of business flair, right? So we're gonna use a spreadsheet, the world's simplest spreadsheet to understand how the US dollar money system works. In this spreadsheet, my dollars. Now, this is literally the only number most people think about when you ask them about what money is, is how much do I have? Like, literally their understanding stops there. Maybe they would say, and I have to pay some taxes. Okay, but there's another number that is just as important as the number of you have, which is how much money there is, which almost nobody thinks about, but it's super important. It's super important because your purchasing power is divided by one divided by the other. So just as important of how much money you have is how much there is because it determines what you can buy. Okay, so if you have 10% of the dollars, if you own $100, the total dollars in the system are $1,000, you can buy 10% of everything that money can buy right now, okay? But if somebody moves that number up to 2,000, suddenly you can only buy 5% of all the things that money can buy. Even though your $100 didn't change, your ability to buy stuff dropped in half due to factors outside of your control. If that doesn't seem fair, it's not. So how many dollars are there exactly in the system? Well, right now for the US dollars, it's called M2 money supply. I won't try to explain that, but there's about 22 trillion, which means if you have $100, your purchasing power is $100 of 22 trillion, which will buy you about a one gram set of gold earrings. That's about how much $100 will buy you. So the problem is the US government prints out of thin air about 7% more money every year. Now you can see where that would be a problem over time, right? And so back here, back in 1960, the total dollars in the system was 286 billion. So your $100 was divided by 286 billion. But today it's 22 trillion. So there's 75 times as much money, meaning your dollars have been divided by 75 times as much money. Basically it's been diluted, right? You have your drink, somebody pours 70 times as much water in your drink, it's 175th as potent.